And welcome to another edition of the ETBU Sportsnet. I'm Kenneth the K-Rock Klein. Throughout the fall semester, we are continuing a segment where we are unveiling our all-time Tigers throughout each of our different sports. We started out with football, but this time we're going to be going into volleyball. We're going to be unveiling some of the former alumni through interviews and stories while showcasing some great memories that they had. I'm pleased to be joined by one of the 15 all-time Tigers on the ETBU volleyball team, Ms. Jasmine Manson Cunningham, who was a member of the Tigers from 2003 to 2006. A part of the team, she is second on the all-time ETBU list in kills and was also a two-time All-ASC member, as well as being named AS, uh, ASC East Divisions member twice. Uh, Jasmine, uh, first off, welcome to the show. Congrats for making it. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you. Absolutely. So before we get into your career and everything, let's talk about uh, what you've been up to since uh, you graduated from ETBU, what it was you graduated ETBU with, and uh, what are you doing currently? Okay, so um, I was at ETBU from 2003 to about 2007. Uh, 2007 is when I graduated. Um, and so while there, I studied elementary education with a minor in reading. Um, and since then, in graduating, I taught uh, first grade for about six years, moved into um, intervention to help um, problematic students, and now I am currently assistant principal at Gilmer High School, um, where we serve over 750 kids. So I have two kiddos, Aiden and Ayla, um, who are fantastic, <laughs> um, and, and just living and, and loving the Lord. That's kind of kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. A lot's been happening since then. I mean, 13 years yeah. since you last graduated. It definitely it feels like a long time. But but anyway, um, as I said earlier, you were all, second on all-time leader in ETBU in kills, 1,719 to be exact, a two-time All-ASC selection and three ASC awards as well. Talk about your playing time in ETBU and, and the kind of competition that you had to face while you were there. Oh, wow. So, um, I didn't even know my stats on that. <laughs> that wow. Um, honestly, at ETBU, um, I will say that uh, competition-wise, um, we were really good and we were well coached. I will say that competition-wise, I honestly felt like we were our own competition in a way as far as the members of the team because I felt like everybody was very skilled and very talented. Um, so we pushed each other. Um, <laughs> I, I think for the most part, um, I think we all felt that way that, you know, the competition was within our team versus the people that we played, not because we were just so much better. I just think that we pushed ourselves each and every day to, to be great. And so whenever we played other teams, it showed, um, yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously I'm not sure that was all you had on that, but, um, but anyway, uh, just kind of talk about some of your, uh, favorite games and favorite memories, uh, from playing at ETBU. I would probably say uh, playing Austin College were, were some of my favorite memories. We would get so uh, riled up to play Austin College. They were good. Uh, they were one of the better teams in, in the conference. And so just the craziness we would do to get, to get ready for those games uh, would probably be some of my favorite memories. Um, also, um, at the time, Coach Wingrove would have us do a lot of team building and um, relationship building type um, activities uh, that were funny <laughs> and so I have a lot of memories from from that as well but definitely uh, playing Austin College and in in doing those team building activities will be some of my greatest memories. You were also a uh, part of the championships uh, conference championship season in 2003 uh, just kind of <laughs> talk about that particular season and of course that being also your freshman year with the program. Absolutely. So I'm glad that you said that because that was my freshman year. Um, and so there were definitely some ups and downs. There was a transition from playing high school volleyball to playing college volleyball. Um, so the physical aspect of, of preparing to play college volleyball before the season started was great. It was it was challenging, to say the least. Um, but I think it definitely prepared us to win the ASC championship that year. So um 
like I said, as a freshman, you have a lot to learn. It's a huge learning curve. <laughs> um, but I definitely think, you know, uh, we worked hard and we prepared. And I think that's ultimately why we won the ASC championship that year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, like from an athletic side, we can see how what impact it made on you. But what about from like an academic or kind of the personal side? Like what kind of impact did ETBU sort of make with you? Uh, a great impact. I mean, there's so many things that I could speak to, honestly, but I would really mostly uh, like to hone in on the relationships part of it. Um, like I said, Coach Wingrove and Coach Art at the time really pushed us to to build a great network within our team. And so those relationships and the closeness that we had amongst the team, I think is really what um, I think is the most impactful. Because like I said, I'm, I'm an assistant principal now. And so building relationships with students is key um, in order to get, you know, let them know that you're on their team and that you're there to support them. And I think the relationship piece from my experience at ETBU has helped me do well in my current job that I'm doing now as an assistant principal. Mm -hmm. You talk about the bond that you had with your teammates, obviously. Is that, are those bonds still there to this day? Or have you been able to keep in touch with some of your former teammates? Absolutely. Um, so um, Shaka Jackson, Shaka Baker at the time, Shaka Jackson, she's my best friend. <laughs> she was one of the ones that I had my hands tied to my freshman year in a team building activity where we had to, tie our hands together and feed each other our Subway sandwiches. And I thought it was the craziest thing, but it was definitely one of the, the, the most memorable things. And she's, like I said, she's my best friend to this day, 13 years later. So um, yes, definitely, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ETB, of course, being a faith-based university, uh, how has God impacted your time or your in ETB and to this day? Well, um, I think it's still the same, but whenever I was at ETB, we were, uh, we had to attend chapel so many times a week. Um, and so definitely going um, and, and being exposed to the word and, and having study halls and having to do, you know, Bible studies and mission trips and things like that. I think that, you know, it, it supports a relationship with God first, which is most important. Um, and those things carry over to now because God is still number one in my life. Um, God first, then family, then, you know, then work and career. So I, I carry that and those things from ETBU even to this day of just making God first in my life. Um, and then, like I said, you know, family and then it trickles down to, to what I do here at Gilmar High School. So I can attribute that to ETBU. Yeah, without question. Um, so time to put your a little recruiting skills to the test, to say the least. So you have a high school volleyball player um, that's mm -hmm. looking to go play to the next level of college. Sure. You have the opportunity to try to convince her to go take a look at each of you. What would you tell that high school player and why? Well, first I would say, um, kind of going back to some things that I've talked about is, I do believe that each of you supports you having a relationship with Christ first. Um, and then after that, um, I would say just the, the networking and the, the relationships that I was able to form with my volleyball team. And like I said, still being able to be in contact with a lot of them today. It's, it's just, um, it, it's you as a whole, not just you as an athlete. It's not just about if you can play volleyball, if you can be great at volleyball, which is a plus. It's about what kind of person you're going to be once you leave ETBU. Um, and, and I can say that I, I think that it really did develop me into the person that I am today as a whole versus just Jasmine who played volleyball at ETBU. So I think that if you want to be um, encouraged and supported and, um, and pushed to love the Lord and trust him with your whole heart, mind, and strength, then ETBU is the best place for you to be. Absolutely. One final question, of course, you know, has someone that's obviously gone through, you know, the college lifestyle in every way and also with what we're kind of currently dealing with, with everything from the pandemic to all these other issues that are going on in this world. I usually mm -hmm. like to ask uh, all our former alumnus about words of wisdom. And do you, do you have by any chance have any words of wisdom that you want to leave to all the viewers out there? Ooh. 
<laughs> I think, I mean, there's so many words you can say to almost no words. Sometimes I'm speechless with some of the things that we're going through as a nation and uh, uh, in the pandemic and things like that. But I'm always reminded of Jeremiah 29 and 11. Um, and it's all about the plans that he has for us. And that's the plans for us to prosper and to be successful and to give us hope in a future and in spite of it, whatever it is that we face god's word is true and god's word uh has never come back void and so i think that's perfect is that regardless of what we face his plan for us is to prosper and for us to be successful and for him to give us hope in a future and so regardless of what it is, you know, trust and lean on that. So Jeremiah 29 and 11 is something that I lean on all the time, regardless of what we're facing and whatever the situation may be. His word is true, and I'm thankful for that. Absolutely. Well, Jasmine, uh, congratulations once again for making it to the all-time teams Thank list. You. Uh, we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Absolutely. That's Jasmine Anson Cunningham. I'm Kenneth K-Rock. Tune in next time as we will unveil our next member on the all-time Tigers team list. Stay tuned.